A special tribute from an Orange County family who lost one of their own in a violent attack outside a nightclub earlier this year. Kim Pham's death has helped others to live because she was an organ donor. Now her relatives will keep her memory alive at a big event this weekend. CBS 2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely sat down with the family in an interview you'll see only on CBS 2. After two um, doctors uh, announced that she was dead, we didn't want to get let go. Kim Pham's family had been praying for a miracle after her beating outside of a Santa Ana nightclub in January, which left the 23-year-old near death. But when tests confirmed there was no brain activity, the Pham's began preparing, not for a funeral, but to ensure that Kim's last wish was executed. I remember like being by her bedside on the hospital day. I asked God for a miracle for her to wake up, you know, but that didn't happen. But I feel like God gave me an even greater miracle to save so much life, you know. It's uh, her lung, her kidney, her heart. Kim's father, James, says his youngest daughter never talked to him about her desire to donate her organs. When I know it, I knew it, it's a bring me feel better. Before that, I very, very sad. Five Southern Californians, three females and two males are alive because of what Kim gave, which included her pancreas. At least 50 others will benefit from Kim's tissue donation. It's beautiful. To celebrate Kim's gifts, the fams have formed a team of nearly 90 strong to walk together in the annual Donate Life event this Saturday at Cal State Fullerton. Following in her sister's footsteps, Katie Nguyen has now registered to be an organ donor. While James Pham admits many like him are fearful about donating, he will become a donor too. I remember on the day that um, they actually pulled her bed down to, you know, the operation room, like when when everything was done and over, we were leaving the hospital. I felt this sense of lightness and like peace inside. Like I feel like I can finally take the burden off my shoulder. In Placentia, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.